Have you ever wondered what makes the sky light up during a thunderstorm? Lightning, a captivating spectacle of nature, illuminates the darkest of skies with its magnificent display. Its raw power fascinates us, while its unpredictable nature instills a sense of awe and respect. This is not just a random act of nature but a fascinating process with a scientific explanation. In this video we will unravel the mysteries of lightning, delving into what it is, how it forms, and its effects. We'll also talk about its more horrific side from causing wildfires to taking lives and share some vital safety tips to protect ourselves. This natural phenomenon is a perfect blend of beauty and terror, a testament to the incredible forces that shape our world. So, buckle up for an electrifying ride as we explore this amazing spectacle. So, let's embark on this electrifying journey to understand the mystery of lightning. Lightning, a natural phenomenon, is as destructive as it is beautiful. This breathtaking spectacle of nature is essentially a giant electric spark, a rapid discharge of energy in the atmosphere. But what's behind this dazzling display? The answer lies in the realm of static electricity. Our story begins with a thunderstorm, a brewing cauldron of turbulence and energy. Inside these storm clouds, tiny ice particles collide and create an electric charge. Positively charged particles rise to the top of the cloud, while negatively charged particles sink to the bottom. This separation of charges creates a massive electric field within the cloud. When this electric field becomes strong enough, a brilliant flash of lightning bursts forth. This is where the different types of lightning come into play. Let's take a closer look. Firstly, we have intracloud lightning, which occurs within the same cloud. This is the most common type of lightning, and it's responsible for those bright flashes that illuminate the entire cloud during a storm. Next, we have cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning. As the name suggests, this involves a lightning bolt traveling from one cloud to another. It's a magnificent sight to behold, a testament to the immense power of nature. Finally, we have cloud-to-ground lightning, the type that most people are familiar with. This is when a lightning bolt strikes the earth, connecting the charged cloud to the ground below. It is this type of lightning that poses a significant risk to people, animals, and structures. Each of these types of lightning is a testament to the immense energy and power contained within a thunderstorm. They are the result of nature's grand electrical circuit, a circuit that can generate up to 1 billion volts of electricity. Now that we understand what lightning is, let's delve deeper into how it forms. The formation of lightning is a fascinating process that involves a series of rapid-fire events. Picture a thunderstorm brewing. It's not just an ordinary display of Mother Nature's theatrics, it's a complex dance of elements, creating perfect conditions for one of the most electrifying phenomena on the planet, lightning. Lightning is born in the belly of a thunderstorm cloud. The first act in this electrifying performance is the creation of an updraft. This is where warm, moist air rises within the cloud carrying tiny ice particles with it. As these ice particles ascend to higher altitudes they freeze and become even larger creating hailstones. Meanwhile the cooler air sinks creating a downdraft. The updraft and downdraft working in a tempestuous tandem set the stage for a spectacular light show. As these hailstones move around within the cloud they collide with each other. These collisions strip off electrons which are negatively charged particles. The process creates a separation of electrical charges. The lighter, positively charged ice particles are carried upward by the updraft, while the heavier negatively charged hailstones sink downward, thanks to the downdraft. The result? The top of the cloud becomes positively charged, and the bottom becomes negatively charged. This separation of charges creates a powerful electrical field within the cloud and between the cloud and the ground. As the electrical field intensifies, it starts to affect the surrounding air molecules ionizing them. This ionization process forms a path of ionized air, or a stepped leader, which moves towards the ground in a series of rapid steps. When this stepped leader nears the ground, a positive streamer, an upward-moving electrical discharge, is sent out from the ground, reaching towards it. When the stepped leader and streamer meet, the pathway for the electrical discharge is complete, and a lightning bolt is born. So, that's the science behind the formation of lightning. But what happens when it strikes? When lightning strikes, it releases an incredible amount of energy causing a variety of effects. Now let's delve into these effects and how they impact our world. Firstly, the heat. A bolt of lightning can reach temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun. This intense heat causes the surrounding air to expand rapidly, resulting in a shockwave we perceive as thunder. 
It's a symphony of nature's raw power, but it can also lead to wildfires, especially in dry areas with lots of vegetation. Now let's talk about light. The rapid heating and cooling of the air causes the bright flash we associate with lightning. This light can be so bright it temporarily blinds those who are too close. On a larger scale, this intense brightness provides us with one of the most spectacular light shows nature has to offer. And let's not forget about the sound. That cracking or rumbling noise that follows a lightning flash is due to the sudden expansion and contraction of the air around the lightning bolt. This sound, or thunder, can be heard miles away, signaling the presence of a storm. Lightning also causes electrical disturbances. When a bolt strikes the ground, it can send electrical currents surging through the soil, affecting underground pipelines and electrical systems. This is why you might experience a power outage during a thunderstorm. On a broader scale, lightning plays a significant role in the environment. One such role is in the nitrogen cycle. Lightning helps convert atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogen oxides, compounds that plants can absorb and use, so in a way, every bolt is nourishing life on Earth. But lightning's effects aren't all positive. It can damage human infrastructure from causing power surges that fry electronics to sparking fires that consume buildings. It's a reminder that while lightning can be beautiful, it is also a force to be respected. Lightning, as we can see, has far-reaching effects. But how can we protect ourselves from it? Stay tuned as we explore this in the next scene. While we cannot control lightning, we can certainly take measures to protect ourselves from it. Let's delve into some effective safety tips that can help you navigate through a thunderstorm, whether you're indoors or outdoors. Firstly, when you hear the rumble of a thunderstorm, it's essential to seek shelter immediately. Buildings with plumbing and wiring are the safest, as these systems can ground the lightning strike. If you're out and about, try to find a car or a bus to take refuge in. These vehicles act as Faraday cages, directing the lightning around the passengers and into the ground. However, not all shelter is created equal. Small structures like bus shelters or gazebos may not provide adequate protection. Likewise, stay clear of tall objects. Lightning has a knack for striking the tallest object in the vicinity. That's why you shouldn't take cover under a lone tree during a storm. When indoors, avoid using electrical appliances and telephones as they can conduct electricity. Similarly, steer clear of windows, doors, and porches as lightning can travel through these areas. Now let's talk about the 30-30 rule a handy tool to determine the proximity of a thunderstorm. After you see a lightning flash, start counting until you hear thunder. If it takes less than 30 seconds, the storm is nearby and it's time to take cover. Stay sheltered for at least 30 minutes after the last clap of thunder. But what if you're caught outside with no shelter in sight? In such a scenario, try to make yourself the smallest target possible. Crouch down low, keep your feet together, and avoid lying flat on the ground. Remember, Every single one of these steps could be the difference between a close call and a direct hit. Lightning is a powerful, unpredictable force of nature, but with a little knowledge and preparation we can significantly reduce its threat. By following these safety tips, you can ensure your safety during a thunderstorm. In today's video we've taken a journey into the heart of a thunderstorm to understand the phenomenon of lightning. We've unraveled the mystery of what lightning truly is a powerful discharge of electricity from the atmosphere, a spark that can reach temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun. We've explored how this awe-inspiring event forms, a result of the complex dance between ice particles and supercooled water droplets within a thundercloud. We've also delved into the effects of lightning both destructive and beneficial. It can ignite wildfires, cause power outages and even fatalities but it also helps in fixing nitrogen, an essential nutrient for plant growth. Additionally, we've discussed some crucial safety tips to protect ourselves when a lightning storm is in the vicinity. By seeking shelter, avoiding tall structures and bodies of water, and staying informed about the weather, we can significantly reduce the risk. Remember, understanding the science behind phenomena like lightning not only satisfies our curiosity, but also helps us stay safe. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of nature around you.